Good afternoon, Be Colin here with Tech Out. A couple of people wanted me to benchmark iOS 12 um, on my iPhone 10, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Little disclaimer is the benchmark scores are not any relative um, indicator of performance. Those two can be completely different. Obviously, a higher score is a more powerful device, which would in uh, would affect uh, performance but it's not overall going to determine your performance. But I will go ahead and run a CPU um, benchmark. This is the iPhone 10 iOS 12 beta 1, a um, couple hours after the beta was released. So I'm going to go ahead and just let this run. I'm not con going to fast forward it or anything. Um, I'm just going to stop talking, let it run. You guys can watch that. And when it is done, um, you can skip ahead when it's done if you want to to see the final score. So at almost one minute, we're about 25, 30% of the way there. And at about a minute and 30 seconds almost, we are about, I'd say about 60% of the way there according to the progress bar. I did see somebody run a benchmark um, on their iPhone 8 Plus, I believe it was, um, on a live stream right after they installed this. And I want to say the score was about 9,000 um, for multi-core, which is, is pretty good for a, um, especially for a device running a beta software. About 80% of the way there. Um, been running for about 2 minutes and 10 seconds so far. It's doing pretty good. Um, I've run a benchmark before. It was a little bit slower than this. Um, not on iOS 12, but on I think it was 11, one of the betas on 11. A lot of people will run these um, on beta versions just to compare the different beta builds to see if any performance is gained or lost. Um, and normally between builds there is a little bit of performance gained and lost. So if you want to go look up some scores for like iOS 11 um, or iOS 11 betas, you can compare like iOS 11 public builds to betas to you know iOS 12 to see what kind of performance you're gaining and losing. Um, not performance necessarily, but overall you know processing power and that kind of stuff with the way the software is. Looks like it's going to take about three minutes to complete. Um, so it is about done. Yep, two minutes and fifty-eight seconds. So on the iPhone 10, we got a 4,279 for the multi uh, or for the single core rather, um, and 10,306 for the multi core score, which is actually really really good um, for a device like this running a beta. Um, and like I said, it it hasn't been any no lag so far, no stutter, nothing like that, no crashes. Um, I the only bug I've had was where the the phone app or the the settings section for the phone um, app it was like scrolling infinitely and kind of like the screen was like glitching out a little bit where the um, the text was just scrolling with it and not moving. Um, overall that's that's all I've had so far in the first few hours um, and that was resolved by just going out of that setting uh, section of settings and going back in it was perfectly fine. Um, so so far performance has been great and this is Colin with Tech Out. If you guys have any questions feel free to drop a comment down in the uh, comment section below and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe and have a great day.